To South Korea now, where over 200 people remain unaccounted for six days after a ferry sunk off the country's south coast. South Korea's president today called the way the crew reacted that day murderous behavior. Hope of finding any survivors has all but vanished. But as Mike Drolet reports, frustrated families are pleading with officials to ramp up the recovery effort so they can lay their loved ones to rest. It was a grim day for the families of the missing. One by one, bodies wrapped in white cloth were brought to shore, amid the realization that there was little to no chance any survivors would be found. So much grief, so much anger. <laughs> South Korea's president didn't mince words. The action of the captain and some of the crew was incomprehensible, she said. It was like murder and cannot be tolerated. Four more crew members were arrested today, bringing the total to seven. Only the captain is facing criminal charges, but that is expected to change. New video has also surfaced of the captain in civilian clothes, being one of the first to be treated on shore. He reportedly told emergency personnel he was a passenger. This was the captain four years ago promoting his ship. It's safe, he says, as long as you follow the crew's directions. On this last cruise, he is alleged to have delayed the evacuation, ultimately trapping most of the teenage passengers in their rooms. Divers have now found several passages into the ship after days of being hampered by bad weather and low visibility. There is still much of the ship to be searched, and this is telling. It's being called a recovery operation, not rescue. The families of the missing are losing patience, scuffling with police, demanding the opportunity to confront South Korean officials. Meanwhile, for every body found, a description is posted on a big board. Height, hair, clothes. My child was alive in the water, screamed this woman. I had a text message. As for how this happened, investigators believe the ferry capsized after a high-speed turn. At the helm, a junior officer who officials say was steering the ship for the very first time. Mike Drolet, Global News.